Before we start recording in FL Studio, we need to set up our audio interface. So to do that, just click on options in the top menu, then select audio settings. Here you can choose your audio interface from the device drop down menu. This ensures that FL Studio recognizes your microphone or your instrument input. Make sure your sample rate is set to 44,100 kHz or 48,000 kHz for good recording quality. Also, make sure to adjust your buffer length so anywhere from 200 to 500 is okay. Anything above that, you're going to be getting latency issues. Now, after that, let's create a new project. All you have to do is click on File and then click on New Templates. Here you can choose any template that suits your genre. So me, I just like to choose an empty template so that I can start from scratch. In FL Studio 21, you can set up your recording track from the playlist. So all you have to do is go to the playlist, select any track you want, right click on it, hover on the track mode and then you see three options. Select audio track and then choose the mixer track you want. So once you select your mixer track, you see three icons here. All you have to do is just click on the one that looks like a record button. So this is the arm record switch. After that, go to the mixer track you selected and then select your mic input. Now, if you set up your audio interface correctly, you won't have a problem locating your mic. So all you have to do is select your input and then you're ready to record. Now, before you click on the record button, first of all, right click on it. Here you see the recording filter window. So from here, you can select the type of clip that you want FL Studio to focus on. So you can either record automation clips or your notes or your audio clip. After that, just click on the record button and then start recording. When you click on the record button, you'll see a window asking you what you want to record. So if you are recording audio, just click on audio into playlist as audio clip. So this is the same thing with the settings that I mentioned earlier. So you can either set it from there or you can set it from here. The reason this window did not pop up on my recording is because I clicked on do not ask this in future. So I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also check out more videos we have on FL Studio 21. The link will be in the description.